Aloha. In this video, we'll talk about using the else if command when you have a decision with more than two criteria. Thus far, we've looked at using if statements to satisfy some sort of, to test whether some sort of condition is met, and if so, to take some sort of special action uh, based on that condition. We've also talked about introducing an else clause for a default action in case uh, that first condition is not met. Okay. Now we want to talk about what happens if we have more than one uh, condition uh, that's a potential outcome. In this case we use uh, an, an else if. So we can have something like if condition take special action. And then we say else if and we have another condition and we can have another special action and we can have another else if condition for another special action and finally we have an else for um, action for all other conditions. Okay, so let's illustrate how this could be done. Okay. So I can say if I have a number, let's say a print give me a number and you're waiting for the user to provide a number. Okay. So then we want to evaluate this and let's say if num1 is less than 4 can print That's pretty small. So we can have else if num one is less than six print that's small. Else if num1 is less than 10, print that's medium sized, and then we can have else print that's pretty big. Okay. So in each of these examples, let me try to clean this up a little bit. So in each of these examples, we have if the number is less than 4, then print that's pretty small. If it's not less than 4, check to see if it's less than 6. If it's and print this statement if it is. If it's not less than 6, check to see if it's less than 10. And if it's uh, not less than 10, and also not less than 6, and not less than 4, then we'll say that's a pretty big number. So that's in brief how you use else if in making decisions with Perl. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and have fun in your coding. Mahalo!